Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas from me and Maple Doodles. You've probably realised I am back at M Shell Home and I am no longer in New York. We landed just in time for Santa Claus and this little one who's been house sitting for me, haven't you? Oh, she's so fluffy. I hope you've had the most amazing Christmas and I'm sending love to all of you. So today I wanted to really quickly jump on here and film a what I got for Christmas slash birthday video. Do you want to go down? Or do you want to sit next to me? What do you want to do? I think she's fine sat here actually. Look at that boob nose. So today I thought I'd jump on here and film a really quick what I got for Christmas and what I got for birthday video. Now I know that not everyone likes these videos so if this isn't, ugh, if this isn't for you that's fine. Just switch off now. But equally, I know quite a lot of people do like these videos. It goes without saying that Christmas is about who's around the tree and not what's under it. I am going to leave a donation link to some charities that I personally support throughout the year and it's just gonna be in the top of the description box. So if you are feeling like giving this festive season, I donate to these charities all year round and I'm going to leave the link below just to some of my favorite charities. The one closest to my heart is St. Gemma's Hospice. They really, really helped my Nana and they just gave her the most comfortable life she could have wished for. And then two other charities that I donate to throughout the year are Behind Closed Doors, which is a domestic abuse charity. I absolutely love them. They do so much incredible work, particularly in the Yorkshire area, which is where I was brought up. And then the final charity that I absolutely adore is RNLI. We do a lot for this charity because my grandma absolutely loved them. They were her favorite charity and she's actually out at the sea saving lives as we speak because her name is on one of their lifeboats that we sponsor. They do so much amazing work. So I'm gonna leave those links below just in case you do want to give this year, whether it's a pound, or £10 or even if you just share them on social media every little helps and I'll also be some other really worthy charities in there. Thank you. And obviously it also goes out saying that the most important thing at Christmas is the fact that we have a roof over our heads and we're healthy and we're happy. So like I say it's about who's around the tree and this year more than ever I just feel so grateful to be healthy and to be around the tree and with a roof over our heads. So I'm sending love to anyone who needs it this festive season and like I say if this video isn't for you then please feel free to switch off now. But I hope you're enjoy this video anyway so let's get into it with this little sleepy bear okay so first thing and I have a very big cuddly bear on me for this one um one of my actual favorite presents this year and I didn't ask for anything this year because I basically had my birthday which is on the 22nd and then obviously Christmas on the 25th and the dream birthday for me and Christmas was to go to New York which is just obviously my favorite place and also have a house full of all of my favorite people which is what I did for my birthday party so that was a dream birthday present so I annoyed everyone in my life this year because I was like I just don't want anything for Christmas just your presence is the best present but my mum went and got my ice skates out of my cupboard and got them sharpened for me which truly oh now she's going down let me just pop you down princess truly such a thoughtful gift Oh, good girly. Such a thoughtful gift was having my ice skate sharpened because actually my brother got me these for Christmas last year, one of my favorite presents ever because I love ice skating and look at them with the pink bottoms. So mum this year got them sharpened for me and that was so special. Presents to me don't have to be like, you know, crazy presents like a new car underneath the Christmas tree. Just something as special and thoughtful as getting my ice skate sharpened meant so much to me. Look okay, to get a tree under the tree. <laughs> a car under the tree. <laughs> Wait, yeah, metaphorically speaking. I know. Do you want to know what's really funny? My mum's actually sat right near me now and she's laughing saying you would never get a car under the tree anyway. <laughs> He's all right, Mabel. Okay, what's next? I'm gonna really quickly show you some of the things I brought back in my suitcase from New York from friends who very kindly gave me presents there. Again, I did not expect any presents. The fact that they were spending their time in New York with me was more than enough, wasn't it, Maple Doodles? Um, let me put your face on camera, there you are. So, this is hilarious, and I need to cover up the swearing because you can't swear on YouTube. But one of my closest friends delivered this to my hotel room. It says, new something York. And I just think that is so hilarious because everyone knows I love New York, so she got me a candle. I did not expect to get any candles or any gifts because just spending time with her in New York was enough, but that was so thoughtful. And then on the theme of candles, my other friend who actually came over from San Francisco to New York for my birthday, which again, oh good girl, she's going to sleep now. I told her that was the best gift ever. I'm gonna just show you how cute Maple looks right now. Hello, girly. 
um, yeah, the best gift was having her fly over. But she did actually get me this candle from Diptyque and she got it from the New York store. The New York Diptyque store in Soho is gorgeous. And she got me this scent because Matt accidentally smashed my large one of this candle so she wanted to replace it, which I just thought was the kindest thing. Is this little sausage going to have some have some lunch now. My other friend also got me these for my home to remind me of New York, which I think is so sentimental and so thoughtful. And they're from a really nice store in Soho as well. We've got Washington Square Park here. We've got the Empire State Building. I'm sorry if you can hear Maple. She likes to protect us from the squirrels and the birds outside. And then, oh my gosh, one thing that I did do, because I'm quite a sentimental person and I absolutely love cards, is I took some of my special cards with me to New York, so I got this princess card, which is so nice for a daughter who sparkles. And then, oh my gosh, a New York card because everyone like, knows I love New York. And then just some other cards, which are just so special. And it was really nice to open those in New York because one thing is I don't usually spend my birthday away from my family, apart from obviously during the pandemic. Um, it was just really special to feel like my family were with me in New York as much as I loved waking up in New York and it was kind of like my dream to go to sleep in New York on my 29th birthday and wake up on my 30th birthday in New York. Such a privilege to kind of be able to do that. I did miss my family and it was also my first birthday without a card from my Nana. I'm not going to cry about it because I already had a little tear about that but it was my first year without a card from my Nana so I knew that I really wanted to take my special family cards with me and I put them all on my windowsill in New York, which just made it feel like my family were with me. So that was really nice. And then last but not least from New York, I actually got some of these candles from a friend. The brand is called Vacation. I believe it's a US brand. When I say these candles smell insane, they literally smell like a vacation. You can hear Maple, I'm sorry. So this instantly just reminds me of being in like a hotel lobby or like by the pool in Miami and I just can't believe how good they smell. This one is crisp white linen, freshly clean floors and a partial ocean breeze. So it really reminded me of Miami. And I love the sentiment because I think with fragrances, with candles, if you light them on a trip or if you get them on a trip, they're always going to remind you of that trip. So I feel like candles are really special presents. And I had no baggage left when going through security in New York. And they were like, why do you have so many candles? And I was like, I'm so sorry. My friends are so wonderful. They gifted me candles. I didn't expect to get any gifts. And they were just like, well, you have really good friends. I was like, I know, that's very thoughtful. Okay, now on to other presents. Now I say Christmas and birthday just because December baby, I'm just blending it all into one. These Celine glasses, which you might have seen me unbox in a Black Friday video, but I saved them until my birthday, kind of. I actually bought these as a gift to myself and I wore them literally every single day in New York. I tried them on in Selfridges on a vlog right before Christmas and I was like, oh, Matt doesn't like them. And then honestly on Black Friday, I saw them and I was like, I'm buying them. And I have to say favorite purchase ever, completely treated myself for Christmas. I feel like that's the thing, Christmas and birthday, sorry. That's the thing about being an adult. If you want something, you just save up and treat yourself to it. So I'm not someone that can just like buy things on a whim. I think about stuff for ages and ages and I've honestly wanted these for years. So really, really happy. Also the jumper I'm wearing, which I've talked about so much on Instagram stories recently because it keeps selling out. I actually got home to this as a Christmas gift and I'm so happy with it. I haven't taken it off since Christmas day. It's kind of like knitted. I don't know, they seem to have gone into that kind of like more knitted athleisure and oh my gosh, I just love it. So if it's in stock, I'll link it below and go and buy it now because it will sell out. Um, I just love it, it's very comfy. Every year for Christmas, one of my favorite gifts is pajamas. But for my birthday, I did already get everyone matching pajamas. So I'd said to my mom this year, we don't need pajamas because we all have matching. So I got a nice, comfy, cozy jumper instead. On the topic of Christmas pajamas though, I really did want the Spencer Bear set from Marks and Spencers, but it's sold out everywhere. I actually wanted the kids set with like the button up, but instead I got us all the kind of matching, really soft, comfy white pajamas, which look the same as the Spencer Bear set, just without the bears on, because they're just plain white. But I did get the Spencer Bear socks. For me, cozy things at Christmas, like new socks, new pajamas, they just instantly make me happy throughout the year. If they're kind of like in my wardrobe room, I'll pull them out and I'll be like, oh, they were my Christmas jammies that my mum got me and I'm really like a cozy kind of Christmas girl. Um, and these, I can't wait to put them on. Look how cute they are. Maple is currently just napping at the side of me and he is literally the cutest thing. Speaking of cute things, everyone knows I love ladder rack. I got this baby, Finn. And I did also go around all my neighbors, literally on Christmas morning and deliver them all some ladder rack as well with a Christmas card, just saying thanks for being my neighbors. But I just think, 
Look, ladder rack things are just so cute. So the family had to get me some cuteness. Not cute, but very aesthetic. It's cute to look at, but it's big. I got this insane blender. This is such a special gift for me because I don't want gifts that aren't useful and this is so useful. Basically, I have my Thermomix, which I absolutely love and I use it into the ground, but it's just so big. And when it's out on my countertop, it doesn't look the prettiest. It does take up a lot of space now. Now I know this is big, but it matches my toaster. And actually the person that bought me this, bought me the matching toaster when I first moved into my house. It was really special. I then got the matching blender. It's a beast, it's heavy, it's gorgeous, but at least it's gonna look aesthetic out on my side. And apparently this is such a good blender as well. It packs a punch. So you guys probably know if you follow me on Instagram, I love smoothies. And I actually bought myself like a tiny little blender, but you get what you pay for. It was really cheap. It broke very quickly. It also just like was really quite ugly <laughs> in like my kitchen. So I just thought, wow, this is gonna be the most special blender on the planet and I know I love my toaster so much I obviously use it every day so I'm happy to keep this out on my cup on my cupboards on my sides comment below and let me know do you keep things out on your sides or do you like to keep them put them away because I'm one of those girls that hates things to be out on my countertops um, but this can definitely stay out so that is such a useful beautiful gift I know you're probably wanting to know what's in here I'm gonna do this in a second I got this lovely box with so many incredible goodies in and I don't want this video to be like an hour long so I'm gonna really quickly show you what's in it. But also, if you are watching on your Boxing Day or Christmas holiday, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video during this period and comment below and let me know what you're drinking. Do you have a, a glass of champagne in your hand? Is it a hot chocolate? I actually just had a matcha and it was so good. So inside this box, I got this, which is a Bubbles Please Bell. Basically, there's a restaurant in London called Bob Bob Ricard and they have like a thing on the wall that says champagne please. So we had a laugh with this at Christmas Day dinner. You would just press it when you wanted bubbles, which I thought was quite funny. Um, or you could just put it on the side of your bath if you wanted bubbles in the bath. And then some Prosecco gummies, some lemon pasta because I love Italy and I love pasta. And then lots of other Italian themed things from a lovely kind of local store. Da -da -da. More pasta from a lovely like local deli. Mini Acqua de Palmas, which again smelled like my Italy trip, so there's such a nice thought behind those. And then, as we know, I was made in Yorkshire, I was technically bottled in Yorkshire, and this is bottled in Yorkshire. It's really funny because when Matt and I moved out during the renovation, we used to go to this deli every day, and I actually sold this Yorkshire brand, and I was really excited by it. And then for Christmas, I actually got this in a little goodie bag. So, the bottled baking coat, scrummy double chop cookie mix. I love baking, but the fact that this is from York, which makes it even more special. And then also in here, oh, some hotel chocolate. I definitely don't need any more chocolate with all of the gorgeous ladder act, but I'm sorry. Every year my mom gets me the cutest thing from hotel chocolate. Look at these dogs. They're almost too cute to eat. Puppy dog eyes. And then banana smoothie, real banana whipped with white chocolate. So it's like a smoothie, but chocolate. How amazing. Um, and then some Fortnum and Mason tea. I feel like Every time people come to my house, they're like, do you have any breakfast tea? And I'm like, mm, I'm kind of out of breakfast tea. So Fortnum & Mason famous breakfast blend tea bags. And then I did a TikTok the other day about Venshi and their hot chocolate. Someone's been watching my TikToks because I actually got my very own cream of pistachio chocolate bar. Pistachio cream is so good. I bought a jar of it from Amazon. And when I say I ate the entire jar, well, this is that, but inside a chocolate bar. So that is... A dream. And then some of Matt and I's favourite red wine. I feel like I've forgotten something in there. But basically, just a lovely kind of thoughtful hamper of things that can go in my pantry and really be used and loved. A little hamper. Oh, also, I did get these out. So last year we stayed in a hotel for Christmas and I bought everyone matching stockings. So I had these out on Christmas Day. I have to say, I am... Gift giving is my love, love language, but receiving gifts, I'm, that's not my love language. So I prefer to like sit there and not have any gifts and give everyone gifts. So I did give everyone stockings, which I thought was really cute. And this is Matt's, which is rammed full with lots of useful bits and bobs. Cause again, I like to give people useful bits and bobs. Okay. Quite a lot of this was eaten on Boxing Day on our gorgeous cheese board table, but a Dalesford hamper, you cannot go wrong with it. I absolutely love Dalesford. One of my favorite brands ever. And the most hilarious thing is, I had to deliver Dalesford pigs in blankets because 
We forgot to get the pigs and blankets. I mean, to be fair, we did literally just land from New York. And I was like, oh my God, the pigs and blankets. I managed to somehow deliver them on Christmas day. So thank you, Dalesford, for being available. Okay, so I got Canoops hot chocolate. Absolutely love these chocolate flakes. And the person that bought me this knows me very well because Canoops marshmallows as well, which is so sweet. I got the cutest birthday cards. Does anyone else always keep their birthday cards? I keep mine in a special place and I always look back at them. And I have to say, note to self, if you are someone that is quite sentimental, I have all of my Christmas cards and birthday cards that my Nana's ever written me. And I'm so glad. I actually think I'm gonna frame some of them. Or even if you get a card and you like it, take a picture of the inside because it's so nice because then you can look back. I can read the things that my Nana said to me and it's just so special. And this is what I mean about like birthdays and Christmas. Matt learned very quickly in our relationship that I need a good card every year just so I can like have the words. That to me means so much more than kind of like a big expensive gift. Obviously gifts are nice. I'm not saying gifts aren't nice, but I love to have a sentimental card. So sentimental cards, I will always keep them. And let me know if anyone else does that or if I'm just crazy. Another candle, we got the Dalesford Kindling candle. Oh, that smells so nice. And I think that's gonna be a good one for like cutting through cooking in the kitchen. Although I was saying to my family, I am the cheese board girl, the baker, Matt's the cooker. Although I do do a mean risotto. I think I might get this out tonight. Limited edition Darling Clementine. This is Clementine Mandarin and Fir Tree Liquor. Sorry, my mum was just saying, no, I'm not the chef. Matt's the chef. I'm the baker. <laughs> We're having a running commentary. Then I got from a gorgeous small business these Christmas candles, gingerbread. Oh, this one smells so good. Okay, got some hot chocolate sticks, which we were definitely gonna have on Christmas Eve, but Matt and I did not make it. So next Christmas Eve we will have, or maybe on like New Year's Eve, these milk hot chocolate stirrers with marshmallows. How gorgeous, again, from Dalesford. This wine is very special to me. This is the, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I pronounce everything wrong, the Lube, Le Lube. Um, and the reason it's really special is because Matt and I went to the most exquisite wedding of our lives over summer and it was Josie and Charlie's wedding and this is some of the wine that we had at their wedding so that will forever just evoke such special memories. I got some more tea. This is actually Coronation English breakfast tea. There's a theme here. Tea, British, local, organic things and lots of candles. And then we did also have like biscuits, chutney, cheese, but we may have eaten that. But that was such a lovely hamper. I feel like if you don't know what to get someone, something useful is always going to be food. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Then speaking of sentimental things, I woke up to a gift card from my mum with Reformer Pilates classes to my favorite studio. And that honestly means so much to me. I was like, oh my goodness, you didn't have to do that. I always feel really awkward. I'm like, please, you didn't need to spend that much money on me. Um, but you know, I will literally love and use those classes well, three times a week now, so I feel like the luckiest girl in the world because I love Reformer Pilates, and it's even more special because mum and I, when she comes to visit, we do Reformer Pilates together at that studio, so mum knows how hard it is. So it's almost like a mean Christmas present that she got me, because she's like, yeah, you're gonna burn, but then at the same time, it's just so thoughtful because I remember years ago, she got me personal training sessions, and it's just such a nice gift because, yeah, I love wellness, I love fitness, I love working out, so that was an amazing gift. Um, I did also get some other gift vouchers. I got some Marks Spencer's gift vouchers. Hopefully the Spencer Bear pajamas come back in stock. If not, I'm very happy with my gorgeous white soft ones. Um, but I do actually have to share those vouchers with Matt. So I might get him some really nice, like of the zip up cashmere tops because he loves those. Then Chanel. So a lot of you have probably guessed, um, but I actually went and bought this right before New York with Matt as a very special little present. I have to say, I just love the service in Harrods. I just, I love buying stuff from Harrods. Um, they're just so lovely in that. And I wanted to save this, oh, to be on camera to unbox. So it didn't even take them to New York with me because we were worried it was going to rain, but it didn't even rain in the end. So I could have taken them. So I tried on a lot of pairs in Chanel and I realized that the heeled ones, which I actually thought I would probably get more wear out of the heeled ones and the heeled ones are just so perfect because I like wearing kind of like a midi heel. But then I realized that they were a bit too square at the front and they definitely didn't suit me. I think I suit something either rounded or pointy and they were just quite square. So I went for the absolute classics and actually a lot of you commented on my Harrods shopping vlog and said to me, you know, only wear them inside, really look after them. So I'm gonna actually really look after these. I solemnly swore to myself that I would never get designer shoes again just because they get ruined. Obviously you take them out in the rain. There's nothing I can do about the elements. But with these, I think I'm gonna just keep them in their dust bag and just like 
wear trainers or Ugg boots and then change into them and only wear them in dry weather but I just think they're absolute classics they're always going to be special to me because it was my 30th birthday and I was going to get myself a very special designer bag but I haven't I still haven't actually chosen my official 30th birthday present from everyone because honestly everything's just so expensive so nothing is sticking out to me I just don't agree with spending the price on Chanel bags that they are right now I just think it's absolutely crazy the price increase so these felt like such a special kind of 30th birthday gift without being crazy crazy money obviously they're expensive but in designer terms they are better than you know Chanel bags for example so this is a nice little intro to another pair of Chanel shoes and I do love my other Chanel shoes that I have so I know I will wear them and I think they're gonna look so cute and elevate all my outfits in summer. So there we have it guys, a really quick look at some of the things I got for Christmas and birthday this year. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a magical Christmas and I'm thinking of anyone that was struggling this year. I know that Christmas can be really beautiful and magical for so many people but I know it can also be a really tough time as well. Go and do something for you whether that's having a nice bath or going for a walk, anything that makes you feel great and I'm here if you need to talk to me. My DMs are always open on Instagram. I'm thinking of you and I'm gonna go have a hot chocolate now. Thank you so much for spending your precious time watching my videos this year, particularly over December. December. I know there were so many videos for you to watch and you watched 24 of my videos if you miss my New York videos They are live on my channel right now So you can go and find those over on my channel But I just want to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me if you're not part of the family There's still time to hit subscribe right now Give this a thumbs up so YouTube knows that you liked it and obviously I would love to have you on Instagram It's mshellx if you are Boxing Day sale shopping, so I know lots of people are, there's a blog post with all the top sales linked beneath. So I hope that helps you, and I hope you have the most magical day, and I will see you guys, hopefully again before the new year over on YouTube. All my love, thank you so much.